I normally do not cover Blue Iris updates, but there was a feature that I had been... If you don't know what Blue Iris is, it is a NVR software solution for recording cameras over your network or network video recorder. Blue Iris is my software choice for monitoring 13 different cameras that I have set up with it. And there's been a feature that I've wanted for so long, so, so long, that they have finally released on June 1st. What's up YouTube, Jason here with By My Bits. In today's video, I wanna talk about a brand new update that was released on June 1st, 2019. And that feature is remote management. Yes, you can finally use Blue Iris to connect to another Blue Iris installation and see your cameras and manage your server without having to use remote desktop or some other kind of like jankity way of connecting to your server. Now this update actually came with a number of different upgrades so much in fact that not only is Blue Iris making you upgrade your license from version four over to version five, which is the new version, but you also have to download and install a fresh full copy of the Blue Iris software. You can't just do a regular upgrade. So it is a massive overhaul to the software. And there are a couple other different features that I probably should note, but I'm not gonna cover in this video. The first one, which is actually really nice, is a 4K UI scaling with up to 300 DPI on the icons themselves. That means if you have a 4K monitor and you're using window scaling, you're not gonna have blurry or small images. Also, they added a sliding speed for playback. So if you're scrubbing through different footage, uh, you can change the speed either in forward or reverse, allowing you to find events a lot easier. And camera settings syncing, which means if you want to change a setting on one of your cameras, you can sync it to other cameras automatically all at the same time. But today I'm not testing any of those features. I'm not showing you any of those features. No, I want to focus on remote management, which is one of the biggest features that they talked about in this release. So what is remote management? It's exactly what it sounds. You're remotely managing. Pretty much what it means is you can install Blue Iris on a different computer. Doesn't matter if it's on or off the same network that the Blue Iris server is on. And you can almost look like you're sitting in front of the server with the Blue Iris software installed. Now it's not gonna run as fast as it would be if you were sitting there on the server itself, uh, but it is definitely an easy option to allow you to bypass something like using TeamViewer or remote desktop to monitor that server. But I will talk about my short experience that I have with this new upgrade after after I give you a walkthrough on how to do it. Something I didn't know I would have to do until I went to upgrade and then I went to go set up the remote management and I couldn't figure it out right away until I found out where it was. And then I realized how super simple it was as long as you know where to look to find it. So let's go ahead and jump right into the how to set up remote management. But before we do this, make sure to back up your settings. That means open up your settings in Blue Iris and export all of your settings for Blue Iris. I'm not saying you're gonna lose anything, but I'm kind of a backup whore, so you gotta make sure that you back up all your stuff because you don't wanna like mess something up and then lose all your settings and then, you know, hate yourself. I mean, after all, this version five is the first new version of like a major release. So always back up your settings before you do anything drastic like this. So go ahead and go over to www.blueirissoftware.com. Go to the download page, download a new Blue Iris version five package. That's right, you cannot use the auto upgrade here. If you go into your settings and you try to use an auto upgrade, it will say that it's already up to date. Or if it does update, it's only gonna be an update to version four. So you have to download a complete full new version five package from Blue Iris. Once you have that downloaded, start the install, which it will ask you to close Blue Iris version four. Once you walk through all of the setup screens, you will have to go into the settings and activate Blue Iris version five. Don't worry, you can use your version 4.0 license key that you got from Blue Iris, so hopefully you save that information. Something to note here, according to Blue Iris, once you move everything over to version five, it actually will not work for version four. So, you know, this is the point of no return. If you're not really sure if you wanna use this, make sure to demo it for a little bit before you actually switch your activation key over because once you do it, you can't go back without contacting their customer support, probably, maybe. Now, once you're in the main screen after the upgrade, yes, there are some UI changes. Yes, they put all your stuff on the wrong side and you're probably freaking out right now, but that's okay. Ignore all of this squirrel stuff and go directly to the remote access 
wizard from the top left of your screen. This is from your settings icon on the top left of your screen. It'll pop down and you click remote access wizard. Now this portion, as far as I could tell, is pretty foolproof. It just kind of walk through, read each screen. It'll walk you through some basic things. Stuff like setting up your firewall, port forwarding. These are gonna be things that are going to allow your server to be remotely accessed, whether it's from something on the same network or a different network. Either way, walk through them all, make sure they all work. And then once you get to the end, you're good to go. From here, you're going to install the Blue Iris software on the main PC that you want to use to remote access the server. So for me, as an example, I just have my main computer in my office. My Blue Iris server is in a different room. So I go to my main computer in my office and I install a new copy, the same copy of Blue Iris version five. And I think that this is my most unfavorable moment of this video where I have to tell you that if you do want to remote manage your Blue Iris software, because of the way they're doing it, you basically have to buy another key to use the Blue Iris software on your main computer, which is the first downside to this upgrade. I really wish personally that even if you went into demo mode or whatever, that if you weren't using any cameras on your client, the new client on your main PC that you're using to remote access and you don't have any kind of server set up, you're only using it as a client, I really wish you didn't have to buy a new license key. But unfortunately, and I have confirmed this with them in email, you do have to buy another license key if you want two versions of Blue Iris running at the same time, one on your server and one on your client PC. So you get it set up, you run through the process. There's no settings to carry over because this is a fresh install on a computer that did not have a server before. You should see a black screen at the top left. You're gonna see a set of icons. Again, the fifth one from the left-hand side is gonna be a chart with a little arrow that's going to be pointing up. This is the status icon, click on this. Once you click on it, you're gonna see a set of different tabs. You're going to want to click on remote. Once you're in the remote tab, you should see an option at the bottom to click add. From here, you're going to enter in the IP address of your server. Now, if you're setting this up with a computer on the same local intranet, then you're just gonna use your internal IP address. If you're setting this up with a computer that's outside of your local intranet, you're going to use your public IP address. And of course, at the end of either one of those IPs, you're going to use a colon and enter in your port that you assigned to your server. If you want to change or tweak some of the streaming settings to the server that you're about to add, then the three dots to the right of the IP address allows you to change that there. You can make changes to your bitrate or enable hardware acceleration. Once you enter in the IP address, you're gonna to go to the bottom, you're gonna add in your username and password. A little side note here, you want to make sure that on your server, in your settings, underneath your users tab, that the user that you're plugging in here has remote management privileges. If it does not, then you will not be able to remotely manage your server. So if you have to, go back to your server now, check and make sure whatever user you're gonna use has this privilege. So when you're done, click OK and it should take you back to the main screen, which is still just blank but that's okay. At the top of the window, you should see a dropdown that currently says local. If you click on that, it will pop down a list of servers, one of which being the server name that you just added. And if you click on the server name, assuming everything went well, you should see all of your cameras pop up. Really, it is as easy as that. If you do run into some issues, again, you wanna make sure that you have the correct privileges with the username you're using on your server. Also, you wanna make sure that you are adding the correct port on the end of your IP address. If you're not, it will not work. And you might have to go in and tweak some of the different quality settings with the bitrate that I mentioned earlier because it could run a little slow for you. It did for me. My experience with this update is that it works, but it definitely runs pretty slow. Now I have a fairly decent Blue Iris server. I'm talking a 5960X CPU with a 980Ti dedicated graphics card. And my main computer is a 7940X or an X299 system with a 2080Ti and a 1080Ti. So both my main computer and my Blue Iris server are pretty powerful in their own right, but it still runs very slow. And when I'm going back and forth from full screen or watching different videos or anything like that, it definitely has this moment of like super pixelation or black screen where it's catching up to itself. Now, of course, I'm not going going to expect the exact same performance as if I was sitting right in front of the Blue Iris server monitor itself, but it is kind of sluggish and it's a little hard to use. You take that in combination with having to buy another license key and I'm really just kind of starting to think that I want to maybe invest in, you know, Synergy, the software that allows me to use, you know, a keyboard across different computers and, and mouse and stuff like that across different computers and then just 
run a HDMI cable from the other room to one of my monitors, the one that I primarily use for cameras. Because of the delay and how slow it is and having to buy the extra license, I'm just kind of thinking to myself that I want to get away from using TeamViewer as remote, you know, viewing the server because that by itself is slow, although faster than this remote management option with Blue Iris. It's there, it works. It was definitely exciting to get working, but now that I know I have to buy a new license key, I'm just kind of like, huh. I don't really like that. That's not even considering the fact that now I am running the Blue Iris software, which is still, the version five is still a little buggy. It takes additional resources and now is running 24 seven on my main computer, which I use for other things like editing this video, for an example. However, this is a brand new update. So it is possible that, you know, newer updates are gonna come out, make it run faster. I can make some tweaks to it that might allow it to run faster, but still higher quality. I think in the end, I do like the upgrade overall, but I can't wait to see what kind of updates and patches are gonna come out that are going to make it faster, more responsive and higher quality. Well guys, that's it today. If you wanna download or test out Blue Iris, you will have a 15 day demo. So check out the links down below. I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. I make absolutely zero money from Blue Iris. I am just a fan and an avid user of their software. So this is the only reason why I'm making this video because I was excited, a little let down, but still wanted to show people how to upgrade and remotely manage their servers. So post any questions down below. Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe and have yourself a good day.